Good afternoon. We're here at the Twin Cities Film Fest on the Renters Warehouse Red Carpet. And I am here with Laura Good, who is the co-writer of Farah Goes Bang. Now, Laura, I know you have a lot of impressive credits of writing. You could, yeah, <laughs> check out Farah Goes Bang website and you can find out more. <laughs> and tell us how Farah became into fruition for you. Oh, there's so many answers to that question. We uh, spent two years writing the script, my co-writer and director, Mira Maynon and I. We launched a Kickstarter campaign in April 2012 that raised $81,160 in 30 days, and it almost killed me in the process. We uh, shot for two months last summer, um, including right here in uh, Northwest Wisconsin, about 140 miles from the Twin Cities and um, then we were in post-production for the rest of the time. So it all began with a dream, is the answer to that question. <laughs> did it start with the story first? It did, it did. Mira and I were in college in 2004, and I think we were interested in, um, a lot of people have asked us why we didn't focus on the 2008 election, and I think the 2004 election was really a precursor to that and has been sort of under-examined in that way. And I think there's a commonality between the John Kerry election and, uh, and losing your virginity in terms of disappointing experiences. <laughs> So I think that was the germination of the idea as well. <laughs> That's quite hilarious. <laughs> now, you, you said you raised over $81,000. Why did you choose Kickstarter? That's a great question. It was $81,160. Um, I sweated for every dollar of that. And, um, you know, we chose Kickstarter because it's so endemic to our generation. You know, we're the social media generation. Mira and I are both under 30, um, rapidly diminishing day by day. And, um, you know, it, just using the power of social networking to spread the message of our film and, and recruit a fan base. You know, Kickstarter is amazing because it allows you to get paid for marketing to people. And so as we're trying to build audiences for our festival screenings now, it's been an amazing tool and way to get the word out. Yeah. Now you said you painstakingly grabbed every penny of that. What was the biggest um, way of reaching out to other people or what is the, the great thing that you could tell other people to do to be able to get $81,000? Sure, sure. So I think, I think there's a common misconception about uh, Kickstarter that you can like post once on your Facebook profile and people will give you $75,000 and that's, that's not actually <laughs> how it works. I was... I sent so many personal messages on Facebook. Facebook was our biggest tool, and I sent so many personal messages that Facebook threatened to shut down my account because they thought I was a spam bot. And I was like, I'm not a spam bot. I'm just a girl with a dream. Um, so be relentless. Don't be apologetic. I think as women, especially, we're really inclined to feel very apologetic or whatever, shy about asking for money and, like, you know, trade that in for some gumption and just stand up and ask for it is my biggest advice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Now you have a fun fact. At age 13, tell me what happened at age 13. <laughs> so I may be a Minnesota State Spelling Bee champ. Um, I was a Spelling Bee kid. I, I think I placed 11th in the state of Minnesota in 1997. I went, my mom is over there. You should really ask her this question. Um, I was a really big word nerd is the shortest way to answer that. I was a Spelling Bee kid. It's awesome. <laughs> But look at you now, you're a, a fantastic writer and getting accolades for your writing and that probably started when you were a great speller. It's, I studied those word lists and I read a lot of books and it stuck with me. So yes, there is a theme there, I think. Well, we're really excited to see Farrah Goes Bang today, this afternoon, and we're excited to hear the audience laughter during the screening. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming Thank today. You. I'm so excited to be here. Thanks. It's nice to be home. Great. <laughs>